What's up, world? Mr. Magnaragnarok here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. In the last video, we climbed up the Tower of Mirage, and in this video, we're gonna go through the Flying Fortress and hopefully restore the last crystal. God, I am excited to start this recording session because we're actually tackling my favorite dungeon in the game, viewers. I know, kind of a shocker. Anyways, we have a new enemy here. This is the Spirit Naga. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this enemy. Um, they have quite a bit of HP, and uh, they can use Blink, so they can use spells, surprisingly enough. But we're just gonna annihilate it. <laughs> Oh, and um, real quick, before I forget, um, on my way back up here, because there is no save point in the Tower of Mirage or here at the Flying Fortress, I, so I had to leave the Tower of Mirage, but on my way back up here, I kind of gained a level, so yeah, that's why everybody's health and stats are a little different, so just letting you guys know. So you don't go like, what the hell, why is his HP so different? Well, there you go, I at least told you. Okay, you Black Knights need to get out of here, because I do not like you. But yeah, as I was saying about this place, um, this is my favorite dungeon in the game. Surprisingly enough, because this dungeon is actually pretty straightforward. If, if you've played this game plenty of times like I have, this dungeon is pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't take too long for me to get through this dungeon. I mean, after I'm done with this video, I'm definitely recording another video after this, because both, hopefully this and the next episode are both probably going to be pretty short. Because we're we're almost done, viewers. Like we don't even have that much left to do in the world, in this game, anyways. I'm um, in here. There are a lot of chests in the Flying Fortress, viewers. Seven thousand nine hundred gil, forty-one fifty gil, potion, and nine thousand nine hundred gil. All right. Ooh, we have some more new enemies. This is the Earth Medusa. These guys can, well, not guys, but this these enemies can stone you. So, if you have the Aegis Shield, like I equipped to Dragon in the last video, um, you'll be fine. For one party member, at least. Um, they don't, they, they have really low HP as well, so... They shouldn't take long to beat. Alright, can you reduce his burn? Burn, maybe burn. Yeah, like they have, I think, maybe exactly 100 health. I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah, for the most part, most of these battles I'm just gonna cut out because they're practically the same enemies from the Tower of Mirage. And if we see some new enemies, I'll show them on the screen. But let's just continue exploring. Okay, now what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, there are a lot of chests in this place that you do not want to miss. Ooh, um, we have another new enemy here. The well, actually, I think we've seen the evil eye before. Yeah, I think we've actually seen these this one guy back at the ice cavern. I'm pretty sure we have. If not, then, well, he's here now. But he's dead. <laughs> but yeah, um, there are a lot of chests in this place that you do not want to miss, because um, let's just say there are items that will help us out for the rest of the game that will really improve our characters. But yeah, what I mean by help our help our, char our characters, excuse me, is that basically what I mean by helping out our characters is that their weapons and items that will become weapons, let's just say, that will you know, really help us in the very end of this game. 
Just, just trust me on that. Anyways, I'm getting kind of tired of seeing these Black Knights already, even though I've practically fought like five of these guys now, just in this one video. And I'm using Holy on two of them. I'm awesome. <laughs> Alright, we win that battle, so let's head over here to the right now. Alright, what is in door number two? War chest, sweet! In here, 180 gil. In here, 5,000 gil. In here, protect ring, um, that may be good. In here, 6,720 gil. In here, healing helm. Worthless. Um, is the protect ring good for anybody? If it will. Well, I'm actually wearing one, but, um. Oh, all of them have one. <laughs> okay, never mind. I don't need another. Ooh, we have another new enemy the Eros. This is basically the the wind version of Aqua, so not really much to say for this guy. Um, he has more health than the Aquos, and um, he has about, uh, I think he has pretty strong attacks, so I'd watch out, even though he's dead. <laughs> Alright, Spirit Naga, can you die? Yeah, yeah, your blink isn't going to do a thing for you, because you did, son! Alright, let's head back to the center. Well, not the center, but where we first came from. God damn, we're already at ten and a half minutes and we're not done with the first floor? Good lord! God, the encounter rate's really ridiculous in this place. Okay, I might as well show this battle off, because we're not going to see too much of the arrows in this place as well, so... You know, I I feel as though maybe they should just have more interests in these battles, like more showing than the other enemies, because I am tired of seeing the Black Knight. Like, literally, I fought five groups. Well, not five groups, but... Well, actually, yeah, five groups. In just... The last 10 minutes. It's ridiculous. Ooh, we have some more new enemies. Or actually, wait, I think we've seen the Manticore before. Um, I don't know. I think I think I might have gotten it confused with the Sphinx, but in case we haven't, I might as well just show this off. The Manticores, they're basically the same as the Sphinx, only except more health, more attack power. I think they're good with the Endurance. Not 100% certain, but I think they're weak to ice, and they can also have a slight chance of poisoning you as well, so... Careful! Alright, let me heal, and let me attack, if you will. Well, okay, they may not have that much health. Now, are you guys going to die? Well, one of you. Alright. We shall kill you. Like we killed your brethren. Ownage by the white mage. Owned. You just got owned, Manticore. Ah, I love that. Um, oh yeah. We have another new enemy. The Doom Knight. Uh... This guy, basically, he's rare in this place, surprisingly enough, so... Uh, he's more powerful than Black Knight, I'll tell you that much, and he can take quite a few hits. And also, I think he can... I think he has pretty strong attack, not sure. Or just have little... Or he could just get owned, like I just did to him. 
Ah, I'm, I'm overestimating these enemies here. The Venom Blade. Um, I believe this is a better weapon for zombies? No, it is worse. Um, but wait, can any one of you wear this? Or equip this? Nope, it is completely useless. So, I'm going back up here. Okay, Eros, now you're starting to appear more frequently for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but, I might have to stop that. I think some of these wind enemies are weak to ice. Uh, kinda. That did decent damage, I guess. Wow. Spirit Naga only did one damage to Shadow. That's kind of sad. Uh, Shadow's got more endurance now. I would've glad if he got owned by angels again. <laughs> Alright, so let's head back up. Now where we have to actually go is we have to go north of this floor. Like, right behind the first building we came out of. That's where we have to go. Dispel. Okay. I wasn't expecting that from a Doom Knight. But hey, now you know. He has Dispel. <laughs> Get out of here, Nightmare. What the hell are you even doing here, anyways? You're really weak. You, sir, are weak. I am so powerful. Okay, really, do Knight? Um, you're getting kind of tired somehow. I want to stop seeing you. So, goodbye. <laughs> okay. You want to stay. Well, now you aren't, because you're dead, son. You dead. You dead. <laughs> Alright, let's go north. Seriously, there were only two Earth Medusas in the battle, and I took one step just to fight them. Ridiculous. Alright, now as you can see right in front of you, this is a teleporter. Now we are on the second floor. Now this room, this room is very big. If you don't want to get all the treasure chests in this room, um, actually hold on, after I'm done with this battle, I want to tell you guys something. Manticores. Now you're starting to somewhat appear more frequently, so I'm going to just kill you all. Oh, you poison angels, you jerk. Get frozen. Oh, you still live. Um, angels, if you have time, use Esuna on yourself. Which I don't think you will. And great, zombie poison. Well, at least we got angels unpoisoned now. Oh, 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 crap, we just gained a level up. I, did, I accidentally pressed X too quickly, but I'm pretty sure Dragon gained a uh, little amount of HP, he gained strength. Agility, luck, zombie gained to level 5, strength, agility, endurance, luck, angels gained to level 8, intelligence, endurance, shadow gained to level 4, agility, intelligence. Yeah, not too big on the level ups this time. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta heal zombie. I gotta heal that zombie dog. Anyways, um... Yeah, I might as well just heal everyone right now while I have the chance. Alright, good. Now, in this room, on all sides of this room, from top left to bottom right, 
left, right, top right, and bottom left corner. I there are chests and items all around here, and if we head down, that's actually where we need to go. You just if you don't want to grab all the chests in this place, in this floor to be specific, just keep going down. You'll eventually run to a teleporter. But I'm gonna grab all the chests in this floor, so I'm going to cut in getting everything in this floor, alright? So I'll see you guys in back here on this spot in just a moment. Okay, now if you come to the bottom left corner of this room and you in the, on this floor and you go into this room, uh, this is actually a very, very, very good item that you might want to pick up. This one is completely optional. You do not have to get it. We get the adamantite! Alright, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, now if you come to the bottom right corner of this floor into this room, you will actually get the black robe and the white robe. And I'm pretty sure you guys can already guess who these are for. Yeah. It gives you it gives you invis 2, but lowers in your your evasion. All for this one. Raises defense, lowers evasion, and with the effect of ice 2 effect on it, so it decreases ice damage dealt to shadow here. So I'm gonna put this on. And you know what? Just for game purposes, why not? I'll just equip white with the white robe. Alright, once again, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Alright, if you come into this room here on the right on this floor, uh, I forgot to show it, but you actually get a ribbon. And the ribbons are pretty useful in this game. I'm actually gonna equip it. If I can find it, there it is. Sometimes protects from special attacks. It lowers your defense by a big amount, increases your evasion a little bit, so I, I say this is somewhat worth it, worth putting on. Um, I also picked up a diamond shield, but I don't know if anyone can wear it. Okay, no, no one can. Alright, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, we're back after getting those all the items in this floor that we came for, so let's head down. Alright, this floor. Ooh, 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 I wanna so I wanna show something off here. Oh, really? Battle. Get out of here, Chimera. Well, I don't even know why the hell you're in this place. Well, well actually it kind of makes sense for him to be in this place, because when you think about it, he has wings, he can fly. And this is the Flying Fortress, so it would make sense for him to be here, I guess. You can look out upon the entire world from this window. Really now? Why don't we look? The window looks out upon the entire world. The four elemental forces are pouring into one location. It is the Temple of Chaos at the center of the four altars. Huh, it's the world map. Gee, I wonder what we have to go next, guys. As if it wasn't obvious enough. Alright, now I believe if you head, like, right next to where the teleporter is, but go left, I believe that's where we have to go, but there are plenty of chests in this floor, so let's go after them. Nothing. Great. Thanks for wasting my time, game. Alright, so what's in this big room, I wonder? It better not be nothing. Alright, so what's in here? Fuck you, game. I hate you for showing me nothing. Alright, I'll just be back at where the teleporter is.
Ooh, but on my way back, we have a new enemy here, the soldier. Uh, I believe this guy is rare. Wow, okay, uh, he does a shitload of damage. Okay, he doesn't have too much health, but holy crap did that hurt on zombie. Jeez, man. Ooh, uh, we gained a level up on our way back. Dragon gained a level. 9 HP, Strength, Agility, Intelligence, Endurance. Zombie gained a level. 30, Strength, Agility, Intelligence, Love. So Angels gained a level. 8, or 8, excuse me. Strength, Intelligence, Shadow gained a level. 4, Strength, Intelligence, Endurance. Sweet. Alright, we're back to where the teleporter is, so let's head over here. Alright, so let's see. There's a door. Holy crap, a lot of chests. In here, 81, 35 gil. In here, protect cloak. In here, 9,500 gil. In here, a shirt. In here, gold needle. In here, 6,400 gil. And I believe that the Protect Cloak is... Yes, it is! Finally, a shield for angels. Wait. Who needs it the most? Angels. Yeah, I, I want to at least make my healer more defensive. At least. Ooh, we have a new enemy, finally, after, what, 10 minutes of none? Uh, the Vampire Lore. More health than regular vampires, more attack power. They have some spells on them, I know that for a fact. And, uh, yeah, they can take quite a few hits. Maybe not. Yeah, probably not. Holy crap, gaze. Okay, you're just gonna paralyze. For a second there, uh, gaze in this game has many different forms, just like Blaze does. Gaze can either paralyze, petrify, or something else, I forget. Yeah, but it, it has, there's three different types of gaze that can happen in this game. That's something I kind of forgot to point out. But yeah, let's head up north now. Fire Hydras? What the hell are Fire Hydras doing here? Why the hell are these guys here? You know what? I'm just gonna kill them with Holy. Or they can just run away from me. Or not, they'll just die with Holy. <laughs> Epilepsy seizure, oh my god. La, 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 la. <laughs> uh, I love Holy. Holy is amazing. Alright, so let's head up here. Alright, are there any chests up here? Well, there's a room. Yes, there are four chests in this place. Um, in here, potion, in here. 5450 gil, in here, 9000 gil, and in here, protect ring, which we don't need. We already have enough, as it is. Okay, uh, we have a new enemy, the regular Medusa. Not Earth Medusa, but just the regular Medusa. The Medusa from Greek mythology. Was not expecting her. I definitely wasn't. Definitely not. Wow, really? Fire 2 just killed two Medusas? God, these Medusas suck! Aha, you tried stoning Dragon, but he has the Ancient Shield, so you can't stone him! Silly Medusa. Silly Medusa, tricks are for... Dragons. 
Yeah, that made no sense. I'm, I'm just gonna stop making jokes for Dragon there. God, that was just horrible. Alright, so now that we have practically every chest we can, our... Well, actually, no. No, there's one more room. And in this room lies a very, very... Fire Hydra. Very... <laughs> very, very good weapon for Dragon. Well, actually, I think only Zombie can use it, but... But I'm just going to say both Dragon and Zombie. You can equip it to either one that you really want to get. It's, it's not a required weapon. Like, you need it for the rest of the game or anything like that. But it's a weapon that you might want to have for the rest of the game, though. Which I'm going to show you here very, very shortly, viewers. All right. Stone golems. Uh, I think we've seen these guys before. If not, then, well, you're seeing them now. So, yeah. Stone golems. Uh, I don't really know what to say about them. We bought a different version of these guys before, but they were like... That's right, they were clay golems. Only that these guys can slow you down, which I don't like that. I believe they're weak to ice? No, they are not. They are completely highly immune to it. Oh, you slow down zombie and angels. One thing I hate about slow in this game is that if you get hit by slow, not only do you do your turn slow down for your character, but at the same time, so does your attack. Your attack gets decreased, and that just... Ugh, that just annoys me. What do you want, 50 gil? Gold needle back in that first chest. 3400 gil. And right here, um, that's actually somewhat a... Wait, is it just Sasuke? Um, okay, never mind, it's just Sasuke. Um, I must be thinking of Origins again, because in Origin, well, not Origins, in Dawn of Souls, uh, this is actually called Sasuke's Blade, and I always prefer it like that, but instead, it's just called Sasuke in this game. So, yes, it is the best weapon in the game for the ninja. And, yeah, not even Dragon can use it. So yes, best weapon in the game for the ninja, highly recommend you pick it up. There is another chance to get it later on, but I'd go ahead and pick it up right there, because yes, you get two chances to grab it. Well, there, well actually, there's two copies of it, I should say. And yeah, you only get two actual chances to get it. If you don't grab it, well, you've practically missed a really good weapon for your ninja. Now, I want to try and show off uh, Sasuke's power on these enemies if I can. Yeah, it does four hits instead of just two or three now, so that's actually noise. And does a little bit more damage, so that's actually noise again. God damn, we're already close to 50 minutes? God. Alright, well there's the teleport right there, so let's just get to it, hopefully. Oh yeah, I remember this room. I definitely remember this floor, actually. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Something was stuck in my throat for a second. I don't know what, but... Anyways. This floor. You could get lost on this floor. However, if you played this game many, many times like I have, just follow what I do. Head left once, and you'll come into another intersection here. Head over to the left once more. 
And we have some arrows, okay, so I might as well show these off since they're not going to get much more appearance after this. Actually, we'll get possibly one more appearance. Not in this dungeon, but somewhere else. Alright, as I was saying, when you get to this intersection after going left twice, head up. Just head north. Ooh, um, another new enemy, the Dark Warrior. Oh crap, it knows no all. Uh, well there you go, that's what one of its attacks are, no all. Uh, basically this guy now will take half damage to any spell I put on him. Or try damaging him with. And they also, they actually have a lot of the spells that they can use. They don't have too much health, their endurance is somewhat ridiculous, I guess. So, just be careful. Alright, good. Now just keep heading north. And there's a teleporter right here. Okay, this is the final floor right here, but something I would like to point out on this floor. Now, if you constantly keep running backwards on this long pathway here... By the way, there's a crystal, but I don't want to go to it just yet. But, um... What was I going to say? The Neo Chu? What the hell are they here? Why the hell are Neo Chus here? They're weak. They're going to get owned by me. Okay, seriously, die, Neo Chu. Thank you. Alright, now anyways, as I was saying, um... If you constantly keep running back and forth, back and forth, along this long, narrow pathway, you will eventually come across an optional boss. Now, the optional boss is called the Death Machine, and Death Machine is just as powerful as the final boss in this game. And you can actually, and this is the only place you can find Death Machine at. Only on this floor, in this dungeon, on this long, narrow pathway. But, the downside to finding Death Machine is that it is ridiculously rare to find. However, if you can find and defeat Death Machine, which he's kind of tough, I'll give you that much right now, viewers. He will give you 20,000, or no, I think it's like 10 or 20,000 experience points, and 8,000 gil. It is ridiculous with the experience and gil from that enemy. And it's the only one in the game that will give you that much. So, if you're wanting to find Death Machine, and you want to level up quickly, this is probably the best place to solve your solution, but it is ridiculously rare to find him. I'm not going to find him, most likely not in this project, but I might find him in a bonus video. I am not sure, but if I ever do, <laughs> that'll be the day. Alright, so anyways, here is the boss of the dungeon of the Flying Fortress, but before we fight him, I would like to heal, because I don't want to go into this battle not fully healed, because that would make me a sad monkey. Alright, so everybody's heal. I might as well show off the status real quick. There's dragon status and equipment. There's zombie status and equipment. There's angel status and equipment. And finally, their shadows, status, and equipment. Okay, well, we have everything we need, so let's begin this last battle. Well done, humans. You have defeated all but one fiend. Tiamat of Wind! Your luck ends here, however. The sky shall be your tomb. One of the four fiends in the Fiend of Wind, this is Tiamat. 
Now, a little unknown, well not unknown, but a little strange and somewhat creepy fact about Tiamat. Tiamat is actually a girl. I never knew that until my second playthrough, well not second, but my last playthrough of this game before I started Let's Playing this game. How do I know it's a girl? Uh, one of the Lufinians in Lufinia actually tells you that Tiamat is a she. Shocking, I know. Anyways, Tiamat here. Tiamat has a big amount of health, around 5,000 I want to say. Four or five thousand, somewhere around there. Um, Tiamat has strong physical power, so highly recommend you set up a shield too. And Tiamat can also unleash bolt spells. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure. We're just gonna set steel on zombie. Alright, now Zombie's going to be more powerful and doing a damage. Um, okay, not expecting four from Tiamat there. Alright, so just for safety measures, I'm just going to set up no bolt and have Shadow here. What should I do for Shadow? Yeah, I'll just set up another steal for zombie. Alright. Yeah, 11 damage, okay. More power than before, so... Um, what now? Yeah, I might as well just go on the offense since we're pretty much set up right here. I'll just cast Steel on Dragon as well. Alright, so we should be good on the offense. Holy, now you're going to get FMFC seizures! Blah, 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 blah. Oh man, Tiamat actually fits in that circle perfectly. <laughs> Alright, decent damage. Alright, just use Holy again. And I'll actually make you use Flare. Flare and Holy, the ultimate combination of spells. <laughs> and Holy right afterwards. God, Gamot, you are going to get wrecked. And that's what she said. Thunderbolt. Okay, this is a bolt damaging spell right here, so we're only going to take half the damage. Youch. Okay, that somewhat hurt a little bit. Alright, Tiamat. Uh, Angels, I'm going to make you just heal everybody. And Shadow? Um... Nah, screw it. I'll just let you keep using Flare Toxin. Ow, okay. Uh, wasn't expecting that attack from you, Tiamat, but okay. Yay, you're dead. We've killed the last of the four fiends, guys. That means we did it, right? We saved the world, right? Right? Well, we'll see. We get 6,000 freaking gil. Good lord. But anyways, now that the fourth fiend has been defeated, we are going to restore the last crystal in the game. Yay, we did it! We did it! We restored all four crystals! <laughs> Derpy animation of victory right there for the win. 
But yep, we have restored all four crystals, guys. So, that means we're done, right? We've defeated the four fiends, we restored balance by bringing the four crystals back to life. What more is there left? Well, if we saw, as you saw back a couple minutes back at the third floor, we basically saw the powers of the four altars. The four elemental altars going to the Temple of Chaos. So, I wonder what's happening there. Well, we're, you're gonna, you guys are going to have to find out in the next video. Yeah, I know. I kind of hate to end it here on a battle, especially, but actually, you know what? Let me just kill this desert Beretta real quick, and then head back to the airship, and then I'll end it there. Actually, I think that was our first time fighting a desert Beretta. I mean, I, we, I know we fought regular Berettas before, but I don't think we fought a desert one. Ah, it doesn't matter. Alright, so let's make it back to the airship. Okay, good. Alright, so I'm actually going to end things off here because this video's gone on for 59 minutes. Oh boy, I'm going to have fun editing this video. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so I'm ending things off here, guys. So next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy, we will see what we're going to do next. Anyway, see you guys then.